another quick shout out I'd really like to make uh, for 2012 regarding music. Metallica went indie with Blackened Records. They own all their masters and everything like that, so they're breaking off and doing their own thing. They already did own the rights to all their own music, but now um, they've broken apart from Electra, which I think has done almost all of the production of their music and done their own thing, which is great to see. Less Than Jake has come out with an album this year, which is always welcome in my book. And the mother of all things, finally, finally... Rush got inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which is long overdue. It's fucking ridiculous and insulting that the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I think now, now it's relevant that Rush is in it. Before, it wasn't. I don't know how Madonna or Aretha Franklin or whoever the fuck else is in there can be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but you don't have Rush in, and now they're in, so... Those three things held a lot of weight with me musically this year because all those bands I mentioned, one's my favorite band of all time, one's my second favorite band of all time, and the other one is the band I consider the best band of all time. So you figure it out, but I just want to throw that out there. I think those were three things that really stuck out in 2012 musically for me also. Oh, sorry about the, the jump in editing. There's a big-ass spider on the wall that I was going to kill, but... um can't find him so the little bastard is probably gonna kill me in my sleep but moving on to games um again i've made my my our you know video games of the year awards actually necessary but i just want to go over some games that i personally liked throughout the year um i were to say i guess if i was to pick a overall game of the year it might be borderlands 2 um, I think it did a very, very good job of, it promised a lot during development. You know, Randy Pitchford from Gearbox was always just like, we're not making Borderlands 1 and a half. Like, we're making Borderlands 2. And it really did feel like a sequel. Um, you know, your skill trees, your weapons, everything felt very different, fresh, very fun. Um, story was great. This, you know, dialogue was hilarious. Lots of characters that... Um, you could connect with, and it was just a fun game to play, which was fantastic. Um, some other games that I think did really well this year. Um, obviously, Halo 4 for me. Um, I think a lot of things Halo 4 did right is, in this day and age of video games, it seems like no matter what game or what sequel, it seems like developers are always going after like some new audience. Um, whether it be gamers that didn't play their past games or new people into gaming, uh, you always hear, you know, when they're trying to publicize their game, it's just like, well, if you haven't played Halo before, this is a perfect, you know, game to jump into and stuff like that, which I imagine some things like that were said about this game, obviously, just to get people interested in it, but it's clear with the story and campaign and the narrative and everything like that, they don't hold your hand with getting you accustomed to what the hell's going on. Um, it's kind of, it is a fresh start because 343 took over, but it's also um, very, very in-depth with Halo lore. So if you're a fan of the series and you read the books and stuff like that, um, the story does a lot to delve into questions that we as gamers... And fans of Halo throughout 1, 2, 3, Reach, and ODST, and even Halo Wars, you know, all this, uh, you know, all these questions were brought up, and, like, people, you know, they fell in love and got engaged with the Halo universe and stuff. And 343 did a big fan service to just showing us that it's just like, you know, we know you guys had questions and stuff like that. We're going to delve into all that stuff. Um, you know, no more doors left open and stuff. Like, um, they did... I'm not saying they did a superb job delving into all the backstory. But, um... They... It was definitely... It felt more like, instead of just, let's just forge ahead and do what we want. 
it's just like they it seems like they took it it's just like this is the universe and we have to work within the confines of what we're given because um i think they're passionate about halo and they know they're making a game for people passionate about halo and i think that's what 343 did very well with halo 4 um dishonored was another great game that i haven't jumped too much into uh really really want to since i'm on holiday break now and stuff I don't like to play too many single, solely single-player games when I have a lot to do because I like to kind of get involved and know what's going on with uh, the universe of the game I'm in, uh, which with my schedule is not easy to do. So I do play a lot of co-op and multiplayer games the majority of the time, but I really, really like single-player games. Dishonored seems to be doing a lot of things right. It's winning a lot of awards. It looks great. Um, gameplay seems really cool. I know when the game was coming out, like a lot of coming out, a lot of people were just like, "Well, it looks like Bioshock. It just looks like steampunk Bioshock." Like, That's a bad thing. I mean, Bioshock's great. I I'm a huge fan of Bioshock games, but Dishonored seems to be doing a lot of things right. Another game I picked up this year that um, I really can't wait to get into. Uh, I've been playing just Walking Dead. You know, I picked up the Collector's Edition, played some of it yesterday. It does a great job of really getting you involved with characters um, very, very quickly. And it uh, really, really draws you into the narrative um, and makes you care without a ton of, you know, uh, well, yeah, kind of cutscenes and stuff. But it. I'm surprised at how fast the game got me to care about what was going on. Um, so that's all great. I don't, I'm not one of those people that buys a shit ton of games every year. I can't afford it. Um, I typically try to limit myself to one game a month, um, like new releases. So, you know, towards the tail end, that's kind of where I was with Borderlands, Halo, Dishonored, um, December this month, I haven't really picked anything up besides Walking Dead, and that's probably going to be my purchase for the month. But that's typically what I do, so maybe I'm not the best person to give you an all-around judge of, uh, you know, how things were. But and for our retro stuff, I've talked about it before, but um, with, you know, probably my best pickup of 2012, because I just started collecting this year, was the stuff that actually kickstarted me collecting i picked up a huge lot of stuff for only eighty dollars and um you know earthbound was in it i got a nintendo power one um with a bunch of other stuff chrono trigger um a crap ton of other nintendo power magazines uh they gave me a lot of stuff it was just some people clearing out their houses things their kids had and they used to they played video games with their kids so they were very thankful as going to somebody who was going to take care of this stuff and not just you know, resell it or try to profit off of it, which I was very thankful for. Um, another big find that I've always had, I always got to tout this game because I like it so much, Mega Man X3 uh, was at the top of my list for games to get. Um, got one, you know, fairly short into collecting and stuff. So, you know, for my, my retro side of stuff, um, those are probably the, the highlights of my collecting this year. But... Stay tuned. I definitely want to make a video that um, will showcase um, what I'm looking forward to in the future. And I really want to hear back from you guys, anybody that watches this video. I'd like to hear back from what were some of your favorite things in 2012. And uh, to get over, like, you know, the, the obsession with the top 10 list or the VGAs or Game of the Year and stuff like that. Um, I'm really going to encourage you guys, make a, your favorites video um, of 2012, of anything you like. You know, whether it be music, comic books, movies, video games, obviously. Um, just make a list, stuff you like. You don't have to put it in any order or anything like that. And talk about why, or, you know, why not, or what you wanted more out of it, or, you know, whatever. Uh, I think it'd be great, um, instead of having just editors and channels and stuff like that tell us what are good that we come out and just kind of say you know what we think and stuff which we already do anyway but we usually do it in the 
the typical form of either praising comments of somebody else liking our game or raging because they didn't pick ours. So just bypass all that shit and make your own video. Um, I mean, it'll be a hell of a lot funner than watching something on a website. I'm Chief, and I'm heading out. See you guys later.